Here is what happened on the latest edition of Morning Glory. We'd like to welcome into the studio again, Derek Franklin. Uh, now, down at the Father Ray Foundation, you do some wonderful work. Absolutely brilliant work. We're always uh, going on about that. And there are loads of people um, uh, raise money for you and help you out and that. But uh, you're coming here today to talk about uh, food donations. Tell us all about it. Well, October the 16th is World Food Day. And it's uh, been going since 1981. And it's just a day to raise awareness of hunger in the world. Mm. And I've spoken to many people in Patia, expats, and they say, well, there's no poverty in Patia. You know, people aren't hungry. People, there are kids who go to bed hungry every night. Really? We have kids come in every day to our daycare centre, one and two-year-olds. First thing they have, we give them breakfast because they don't have food at home. Yeah. And we give, we give them lunch and we give them um, food to take home. Our teenagers, you know, eat huge amounts. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they're, grow, they're grown kids and we have 850 to feed. But especially children, because they're developing uh, the t- their, their, their bodies and also their brains. And uh, am I right in thinking that they can actually absorb more knowledge if yeah. they're well fed? Yeah. If a child is, is malnourished, mm. they're not going to do well in school. No. They're gonna, their grades are going to fall behind. They're not going to mix with other kids because they don't have the energy to play soccer or volleyball mm. or whatever. Mm. So our kids, when they go to school at six in the morning, they go on with full bellies. Yeah. I'm always surprised how much a 10-year-old Thai boy can eat. Right. You know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't eat that much. <laughs> but we need, to, we need to feed them mm. a good breakfast because yeah. when they're at school, they're not going to go for the healthy option. No. And then we give them a huge dinner when they get home. And all they're going to do is feel tired, I suppose, for the rest of the day. That's it. You know, we've got got to give them enough food so that they want to get on with their studies. Mm. They want to mix with the other kids. They want Mm. to play with friends. Mm. We're asking you if you could donate some basic foodstuffs. um, Cooking oil, salt, sugar, dried noodles, canned fish, and of course rice. And you can bring that in to the Welcome Centre, um, which is on Sukhumvit Road, just past... uh, Patia Klang, mm-hmm. you've got the mosque, the Catholic yeah. Church, and then the, the reserves. You can't miss it, there's a big sign. There's a big sign, and there are flags outside. <laughs> okay. There are a bit of flags all over the place. And um, what time, from what time to when? Any from time? 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, I, I'm there at 6, to, 6 o'clock every morning, mm-hmm. so we open then until 6 in the evening. Yeah. And uh, just, just bring down as much as you can, or as little as you can, and... Um, Anything which will help feed our kids, we... we We'd be very grateful. Yeah, and you'll be celebrating World Food Day in a good way, in a good, yeah, positive yeah. way. Do something for the children of Patia. Yeah, excellent stuff. Live on 96 FM Morning Glory. FM.